to my dearest honey bunches of oats. I love you so very much. Hey guys, it's Danielle. I am going to do a marriage challenge. Yay! Um, if you have been waiting on another marriage challenge forever, I have one for you. If you don't know about my marriage challenges, um, check out the playlist of all my marriage challenges. Um, I was doing one every week where you would do a challenge with um, your spouse or your partner and um, try to keep the spice alive or renew, rekindle that spice, whatever the case may be. Um, but I had got away from doing that. I'm gonna try to get back to doing um, some marriage challenges, maybe not every week, but as often as possible. So, um, the marriage challenge for this week is to write your spouse or your partner a letter. Yes, a letter. I know, so cliche and so kind of like, really a letter of all things? But what I have found, um, with me and my husband as we have journeyed into the life of parenthood and now business owners and just so many other different uh, titles and roles is that we find very little time to have deep, passionate conversation. So, you know, we still try to do the uh, 15 minutes where we're not talking about work or the kids or bills or things like that. However, we still don't have 15 minutes is not sometimes not enough time to express just your deep emotions and your feelings. You know, you both are trying to talk and kind of just catching up on life and things like that. And you're not really um, sharing what's with what's in your heart. And so I find that writing a letter for me journaling I journal um, and I do love to write letters but of course in this world of texting um, sometimes or never really do we write letters and so um, I challenged myself to write my husband a letter this week and uh, put it in his gym bag so that he would find it when he was out working out and all that good stuff so I am going to challenge you guys to do the same thing. So I went out and tried to find like some cute little stationary paper and clearly stationary is a blast of the past because I couldn't find it. Or maybe I just didn't know where to look. But I checked like Hobby Lobby, Michaels, Target and I could not find it. So I just bought um, scrapbooking paper and just got something cute with little hearts on it. And then, um, again, wrote my letter to him. And then I sprayed it with my little perfume. Um, and, again, stick, stuck it in his gym bag. So my challenge to you guys is to not just get some notebook paper or computer paper. Don't type it on the computer. Um, do not send it in text message or email. But to actually take the time to go to the store to try to find some fancy paper, um, a nice pen, and sit down and really write out your emotions and your feelings to your significant other. So really just take that time and just pour your heart out on paper and then maybe um, you know give it some kisses with your red lipstick or spray some perfume on it or put some cute little hearts and drawings or tuck a picture of you guys in it, maybe a nice picture of you in it, whatever your heart desires or whatever you're led to do to do that and then put it in a place where you know they're gonna find it. Their lunchbox, their briefcase, their gym bag, um, you know, their car, somewhere where you know they are going to find the letter. Um, I think if you can put it in a place where, you know, you know they're gonna go to work and then they'll stumble across it, maybe 
when they first get to work or on their lunch break or when they're coming home from work, they might be stressed or something like that. And to be able to have this letter to sit down and read it and just really hear your heart and your emotions um, would probably just change the whole course of either their day or remove some of the stress that they may have um, put on from that day. So again, this week's challenge is to write a letter to your significant other on some nice pretty paper with a nice pretty pen with some nice decorations and smell good and then put it somewhere where they will find it um, later on in their day. That is the challenge for the week. So you have an entire week to do this challenge, guys. All right, good luck. Let me know how it goes in the comments, what your experience was, how hard it was for you, how easy it was for you, whatever you may have experienced, any thoughts you might have from this. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe, and I will talk to you guys later.